The day we've all been waiting for is here. After an eight month long journey, we have the update that turns this game preview into a game. I'm sure all of you, just like me, are very excited to play the new map when the update launches tonight. In this video, I'll be going over a parachuting technique that you can use on the new map, Sinok. This technique should prove to be very useful since you will be able to land and grab a weapon before everyone else. Also note that this gameplay is shot on PC because I figured everyone will be playing instead of watching YouTube right when it comes out. At the end of this video, I'll be going over how you can enter a $20 Microsoft gift card giveaway I am having, so make sure to stick around to hear the details if you want to enter. First off, you will need to know and perform the wave technique as you travel to your desired location. I will quickly go over how to do this, but if you would like a more in-depth explanation, then I will be linking a video in the description where fellow YouTuber Boris15 covers everything you would possibly need to know. Most players fly directly to a place they want to land at in a straight line, then go straight down in order to get 234 kilometers an hour. This method is not the best if you're looking to get to a location as fast as possible. When doing the wave, you would need to jump earlier at a more diagonal angle to your location. Depending on the distance to your target, you need to start pushing up and down on your stick in order to achieve this wave-like motion in the air. Now when parachuting on Sanok, there is one more thing to know. You must jump right around 900 meters before your destination. If you wait to jump right over your location, most likely you will be landing right when the more experienced player is picking up their weapon. One common question is, how are you supposed to know how far 900 meters is on the map? I use the squares on the map to guesstimate the distance. I know the larger squares are 1000 meters by 1000 meters and the smaller squares are 100 meters by 100 meters. With those I can pretty much eyeball a distance close to 900 meters. Now that that's done, hopefully you won't be getting killed as much with your fists out. As I mentioned before, let me go over the $20 Microsoft gift card giveaway. In order to enter, all you need to do is go to my Twitter link in the description below, follow me, and retweet the picture of the Xbox gift card. Friday night, I will be picking the winner randomly using TweetDraw. I will send out a tweet and a direct message to said winner. Well everyone, I hope you have an awesome time playing the new map and update. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.